Thank you very much. So, mommy, do you know, are you saying that marriage is not rosy? Like rosy. It's not rosy from the beginning. From the beginning. It's not it challenges, yes. Is there a point when the challenges will come in? Or it starts from the beginning? It's the challenges as we see it is not the it's not something that you should quit immediately. There's some challenges that comes you'll be able to handle as Christians. But most of us we are not ready to handle challenges anymore. What, we, what we, some of us call abuse in marriage is not abuse per se. It's because we are not able to, to handle challenges. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. It's, not, it's because we are not able to handle the challenges that we now term it to be abuse. Because there are some times that there will not be money. There are some times that, you know, husband will not be in good mood or wife will not be in good mood. That your ability to be able to, to endure some things that very moment. It keeps the marriage going. But some of us we are not ready. Especially the youths, the ladies of nowadays, we are not even ready to, to start up with any man. We just want it rosy, 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 rosy. It's not always like that. It starts from somewhere. Many Christians miss it in marriage. Desperation, there's two desperate. You know, my uh, age, my age is running. My friends are getting married and I'm just here doing nothing. And any available person that comes, they just jump into it. They don't care to ask God anymore. Some of us have made that mistake. We don't care to ask God anymore because we have we think we have wasted time. And God's time is always the best. But we are not even ready to wait for that God's time anymore. We just want to jump into it so that they will not say, ah, I saw that she, she has not gotten married. Ah, my uh, sister Bola is married. Uh, sister Bosa is married. Ah, what am I doing? Any available man, so you will hear some people say, even if he's, he's, the person is blind, let him just come. Mm-hmm. Even if you know a, a lady that was proposed to by a pastor, and then before the lady accepted, she said, Are you sure you can go? Pastor said, Yes. The lady should be also hear from God. That is the mistake we make. If a pastor, it doesn't matter, forget about pastor, he's a human being before he became a pastor. If a lady, if a pastor meets you and tell you, God said, tell the pastor that God should also tell me. Like if you are a Christian, God should also tell you that this is the person. Not him alone hearing it. If God is in if God is in, involved, you will hear it, the pastor will hear it. Not only leaving the work for the pastor, what if he's lying? What if he's lying and he's telling you that God said and God never said? 